K-netizens say Kim Se-ron is the biggest attention seeker they've ever seen. Since then, all attention has been focused on whether the actress would release an official statement regarding her latest social media frenzy amidst the controversy. Kim Soo-hyun's agency denied all dating rumors and expressed their confusion about why Kim Se-ron had suddenly posted the photo. Then, on March 27, Kim Se-ron finally spoke up and stated that she would be keeping her silence in the matter and explained, I've thought about it extensively, but I believe it's best not to comment as it's not an official position. Korean netizens commented, she's such an attention seeker. What is wrong with her? I feel like she's trapped in her own little world. Wow. She is the biggest attention seeker I've ever seen. She's the one who posted the photo. She wants attention so I think we should stop giving to her. It's so clear that she's doing this for attention. How did she end up growing up like this? This is so sad. I'm so speechless. Lol. And her image has fallen so far so I think she needs to stop because she's nailing in the casket. To her grave. Fans say New Jeans Danielle fits perfectly with Celine. On March 27th, New Jeans posted a new set of Celine campaign photos of Danielle on their official Instagram. Danielle shows her charm in the photos while posing with Celine headphones against the sunlight. Korean netizens commented, she looks like a fairy. She's so perfect for Celine, she's so gorgeous, she looks like an AI character. She's so lovely, she looks so pretty. Celine fits her so well, she looks like a doll, she matches perfectly with Celine. I think she does look better with Celine, wow. She is so beautiful, these photos are so crazy, I think she matches Celine more than Burberry. She grew up so much in such a short time, and she looks so good. Super Junior's Lee Tube confesses. He struggled to follow the latest trends in the entertainment industry. On the latest episode of Radio Star that aired on March 27, Super Junior's Heechul, Lee Duke, Yesum, and Yunyuk appeared as special guests and talked about various topics, including their careers and lives, on this day. Lee Tu confessed that he had given up on his ambitions. He shared, I've become less ambitious. I don't want to be so stressed while working anymore. I'm um, see you say you asked, weren't you a workaholic before? Lee Tu collaborated, I was a workaholic. But then I realized there are some things that don't work out even if I put in the effort. It's been 20 years since I've been in the broadcasting industry, but I don't have a distinct character. He continued to share. I realized that I became depressed because of my ambition. I was having a hard time, so I began to realize I needed to give up on things. I thought I would continue going upward if I was consistent, but then the trends changed and I began to go down. Heechul also chimed in and shared. Lee Tuk is very good at hosting shows, but then there aren't many programs that need hosts. Kim Gura also added, What use is it if Lee Tuk is good at emceeing? Look at Kian 84. Making it big by just taking a bath in the Ganges River, after Kian 84 appeared. All the travel variety shows started struggling. K netizens are divided about a critical article. Covering ILLIT's debut showcase. Being known as New Jean's little sister group, Illit is anticipated to become the next hit girl group in the industry, as they are already making history with their debut, just a day before. ILLIT became the first girl group to enter the Spotify global chart on the day of their debut, as per Spotify's data, on March 25. ILLIT's track Magnetic debuted on the global chart at the 160th place. 110 Asia reporter pointed out, however, on this day is seemingly due to the nervousness of it being ILLIT's debut showcase. The members couldn't give accurate answers to the reporter's questions and responded with brief and insincere answers, often repeating the same words. 
The reporter highlighted, Hillet, who was dubbed the youngest daughter of HYB, responded to the question, Isn't the nickname burdensome, with, in our company? There are many seniors to look up to. I will remember that and do my best. Also, when asked, what sets Hillet apart from senior girl groups La Seraphim? and New Jeans, they responded. Our team's charm is that we immerse ourselves completely in any given moment. Our fans appreciate that, when we're on stage. We focus on the performance, and off stage, we'll show how we enjoy ourselves among us. The article continued to criticize that the members repeated similar answers and explained, following that, when asked, can you specifically point out what sets you apart from New Jeans? who are also a group of teenagers, they said. We want to show us enjoying ourselves naturally, both on and off stage, including having fun and playing among ourselves. Additionally, when asked, do you have any achievements that cannot be quantified that you want to accomplish? They responded with answers akin to repeating the same phrases, saying, like our seniors, we want to enjoy ourselves more on stage or behind the scenes. We want to be more relaxed like them. We want to be artists who are comfortable and enjoy being with each other. They commented, since they are rookies. Their answers might be awkward or they might not know well. Why write an article like that, haha? <laughs> it's pathetic even for the reporters. I don't know how old these girls are, but they're young and newly debuted. They were probably nervous. If they haven't been trained or educated properly. It's only natural that they can't articulate their thoughts well. They must have been nervous. It seems like they practiced a mock interview with a perfect answer script memorized. Memorizing isn't easy either, so they did put in effort. Law. But I get it just sounded soulless with too many repeated phrases. They're being quite harsh on rookies. And but the reporters also talk a lot of nonsense. What do they expect when mentioning new genes? They are expecting a lot from girls in their late teens, maybe early 20s. On the other hand, netizens commented, What do you want to eat? My goal is to eat something delicious. Slash, how's the taste of your food? I am to enjoy eating delicious food. Slash, what's different from what you ate yesterday? My goal is to enjoy eating tasty food. That's the kind of vibe. Lol, even reading it sounds so frustrating. They must have gotten a few expected questions but it feels like they're using one answer for all the questions. And these days, when I see idols, I really appreciate leaders like Lee Tuk and G-Dragon Lol. They really knew how to speak eloquently in such situations.